Welcome to Cake Playground, where it's all about the fun. This lesson is on how to make a swan from modeling chocolate. These cute little decorations can be used on top of a wedding cake or on cupcakes. They're tasty and they're cute. You will need the following materials and equipment. A one inch ball of white modeling chocolate, a small rolling pin, a gum paste tool, offset spatula, and small leaf cutter, and some cornstarch. We're going to start by breaking off a small piece of the chocolate and setting it aside. So break off about one quarter of the ball and set it aside later to make the wings. Next, we're going to take the large piece of chocolate and roll it between our hands into a smooth ball. After you've smoothed the ball of chocolate, you're going to use your fingertips to start shaping a tube. This tube will later become the head and neck of the swan. I've used a ruler here to give you a reference point as to how long it should be. Next, you're going to shape the tail. So turn the body around. From the opposite end from the neck, you're going to pull out a piece of the ball to shape the tail. You're going to use your fingertips to smooth the tail and smooth the body to get out any bumps and bulges. Now, we're going to bend the tube back to form the head and neck. So pull the tube back at about a 45 degree angle to the body and then pull the head over to form an S shape and then use your fingertips to shape the pointy end of the swan's nose. We're going to use the ball of chocolate we set aside to make the wings. Dust your work surface with cornstarch and put some cornstarch on your fingertips to keep them from sticking to the chocolate. Use your fingertips to flatten the ball prior to rolling it out on the work surface. Place the chocolate on the work surface and dust it with some cornstarch to keep it from sticking to the rolling pin. Roll once and then you're going to turn the chocolate 90 degrees. To loosen it, you can use your spatula. Roll again and then turn 90 degrees. This helps to keep the chocolate evenly rolled. Roll the chocolate to about 1 16th inch. Now we're going to cut the two wings with the leaf cutter. Notice that I smooth the edges of the wing before I loosen the wing from the cutter. This helps to give nice smooth edges. We're going to move on now to attach these wings to the swan. First you need to orient the wings to the swan. You'll notice there's a long side and a short side. The long side goes on the bottom of the body, the short side goes toward the top. You're going to texturize the long side angled toward the tip of the wing. Go all the way down the wing, all the way to the tip. The wing can now be attached to the swan's body. With some light pressure, just press it onto the swan's body. Make sure that the feathers are pointing down. You're going to curve the wing outward. And you'll do the same thing with the second wing and point that one outward as well. So take a look at your swan. Make sure that the shape is the way that you want it to be. Take a look at it from all directions and admire your work. What a good job. These beautiful and graceful decorations would make a great addition to wedding cupcakes, wedding cakes, or other special occasion cakes. Please come to cakeplayground.com for the recipe and video for modeling chocolate and other ideas for modeling chocolate, as well as product sources. At Cake Playground, it's all about the fun.